made it here to the job of the day. This morning we have a pretty big job we need to knock out. We have that one to knock out. Then we have multiple ones right here. We have a couple here, that one there, that one there. It's a total of 10 trees. We're starting off with this tree here. You can see they already have the rope through it. Hopefully the top doesn't break, but we're gonna try to pull it all the way this way. Have it drop in this area here. Then I'll grab it with the mini, take it right out that fence there. Go around the house, up to the chipper, and have Joni chip it up. Drop the first tree down. Roy's gonna toss up the rope to the second one. I'm gonna start clearing this whole area up with the mini. So this tree ended up splitting down the middle. And Berardo was making the notch on it. You could see it moving here. So if we continue cutting it, this branch is gonna fall that way, especially since we don't have a rope on it. We were planning on pulling it from this one all the way down. Now we're trying to get a rope around just this one here so we can make a fresh notch on it, let it drop, have it land there. But you could see it moving here from where it's split. And it's all leaning towards that way, so can't really touch it much. We don't want it to fall, so we're just going to try our best to tie it there. Hopefully, we could pull it this way. If we could just get it to land on this side and not land on the neighbors, we'll be fine. We'll clean it up. But if for whatever reason it goes that way, it's going to be a fun weekend for sure. done cutting this branch up you can see luckily we didn't damage anything the fence is still good none of it went that way luckily it all landed on here we could clean up this pine a little bit it did land on that pine but luckily it didn't even damage it that much you can see here his second notch helped it a little bit but really didn't do much you could see where it split right here i thought it was going to go that way so most likely because of the machine that's why we split it here most mostly but he said once he was starting to cut there and wanted to go that way so luckily i pulled this way and we we got it to land here honestly probably best case scenario didn't even damage this tree this one right here is coming down you can see this one's leaning all the way on that side as well so we're gonna try to pull it this way any of these trees the only one that really got a hard impact was this pine tree here we'll clean it up a little bit and it should be fine i'm gonna move all those branches there so we would have to start chopping this off
still have a lot of cleanup to do have a couple logs that still need to pick up we're still not loading logs so that isn't an issue the guys are over here cutting these trees here out this one here we also have this one that we need to knock out and then we have this one as well roy's over here raking up the small branches still have a lot of cleanup here like i said before i'm gonna start hauling all these logs out of here and start stacking them outside so later today we'll bring in the empty international so we can start loading up all the logs made it back here to the job the guys brought out a good amount of branches still got these branches here start on this tree here hopefully tying a rope from this tree and having them come and land over here there's really no way to get these branches if they go over onto that side we'd have to walk around and go all the way by the neighbor's side so our plan is to hopefully get all these branches to land over here start helping them chip these branches up while Bedardo gets ready to get this tree down
need to hold my ground a little bit better. What I really need is, a, is an anchor, maybe tie around that tree, but they're not coming down too big, so. I got it. Go for it. We got most of this tree down. The guys are going to finish knocking it out. I'm going to go grab lunch for us. Those are tossing the line up, trying to get a rope on this tree here, and then we also have that one final tree. Plus, we still got to load up these logs, but that's not an issue. We put a rope onto this tree here. Our plan is to basically make a zip line from that tree to this one here, so we could have the branches slide on the rope all the way to here and have them drop right next to the chipper. We don't really ever do this, but we're gonna give it a try. As long as we get those branches to somehow land on this driveway, even if they land on this bush here, in a couple weeks, you won't even notice that anything landed on that. So as long as they land either on that bush or on this driveway, we're all good to go. If for whatever reason this doesn't work out, luckily there isn't any wires or anything, so it's not a big issue. It would just make work a little bit harder, but even if it does land on that side you know we'll just have to go and grab it so it's not really a big deal once we knock this one out we'll move on to this big one here and that'll be the final one of the day and then like i said we still got a bit of cleanup and pick up those logs we got the ropes all set up we have a couple branches that are in our way so we can't really tighten that rope up enough so berardo's gonna climb the tree and cut this right side so we could get those ropes all the way to the top there and we could have a nice zip line coming down We cut the branches of this right side here so we could get the rope to go all the way to the top you can see but out of those already there tying the first branch we have the zip line coming down this way hopefully we could get it to drop right there i'm gonna set up the camera so we could just get the the branches coming down <laughs> done with the zip line but i got off the tree we're just gonna cut it from there and drop it this way we're gonna move the bucket out of there so we can grab it with the mini 
I'm gonna drop this arm of this bucket so we can get it out of the way. All done with that area there. All we have to do is drop the logs. We moved the bucket over to here. It's on the grass now. So Eduardo could get this tree here. We're bringing the chipper back. The chipper is going to stay there. We brought this truck over to here so we could go loading up the logs while the guys start chipping up these branches. done with the final tree all we have left is to pick up the logs me and my brother each have a mini we're gonna start loading up all these logs all we have are these here these here and then we have from the the tree that was next to the bush we have a couple logs that we have to pick up from that and then we're gonna clean up this little bit of area here call it a day head back to the shop
we're all done for the day we're just getting all the trucks ready to go roy's just passing the blower one last time so we can leave it nice and clean i'm just gonna walk around so i can show you guys exactly what we did we grind this one stump here cleaned it up left it nice and clean this morning we started back here we knocked out this one tree right here that was pretty big actually split in half on us luckily we were able to get it down without causing too much damage we cleaned this whole area here knocked out the one dead tree that was over there cleaned up that whole area left it nice and clean then we come here this is the first tree we knocked out in the beginning of the day it was one tree that was back there you can still kind of see it see it back there that that was the tree we did in the morning we dropped it cleaned up the area left it nice and clean we put a couple logs here for him to use them for firewood all these logs here these were already here cut these here this is that one tree we were using for the sip line we got all the logs out of there cut the stump left it nice then if we come around here we also cleaned the driveway left it all nice and clean if we come around here we did the one tree that was over here as well we were able to go to the other side and pick up the logs luckily the neighbors were nice enough cleaned up this whole area here left it nice and clean and then the final tree here which was probably the bigger one out of all of them grinded the stump left it nice and clean as well cleaned everything up all the driveways nice and clean thanks to roy over here put in work today all the trucks are all ready to go we're about to head back to the shop call it a day it was about 95 degrees today everybody was struggling but we got it done it's a bit early compared to what we usually get out at so Head back to the shop call it a day just made it back here to the shop we're all done for the day it was a pretty difficult day we got everything we needed done customer was happy um i just want to thank anybody who took their time out of the day to watch the video any questions any comments any tips for me leave them down below catch you guys tomorrow